Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Um, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds are go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. So even if you're not in Texas Boxing, please help the children. Uh, it goes to, everything goes to a great cause. Um, all right, today's show is going to be interesting, right? Because there's been a lot going on in the boxing world. Um, you know, with the YouTube fighters, you know, what happened with Evander Holyfield, um, there's just a lot going on right now that looks bad for the sport, you know. And if you want to have a pessimistic view on things, you, you, you certainly can, right? Um, you know, look. The Paul brothers, but Mayweather, uh, Vanda Holyfield, it, it doesn't look good, right? But uh, I think boxing is in a great in, in in a great situation right now, especially in the upcoming weeks and months. There are four or five huge fights right now that's going to put the casuals on notice that they're going to be interested in. Uh, there's just a lot of good vibes a lot of good energy in the box world you know we've had you know a slow stint with 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 the covid pandemic um you know the big fights weren't getting made you know um crowds people testing positive all types of stuff but i i think we're coming out of that if you guys look at what we have you know in just the next few months two months you know, I, I think it's staggering. You know, we have Joshua versus Usyk coming up. The undisputed cruiserweight champion, former undisputed cruiserweight champion in the world, stepping up to fight if the, the, the current unified heavyweight champion of the world. You know, that's a that's a big fight, right? And and, and you know, you know, I'm picking Usyk to win that fight. Um uh, you know, you, you, and then after that, you're gonna have the trilogy between Fury and Wilder, which is going to be a great fight. You know, I mean, I'm going to pick Fury obviously to win that, but that's a great fight, guys. Like, that's the the only guy that's ever beaten Wilder is Fury, um, and the only guy that you know Wilder hasn't knocked out is Fury in a trilogy uh, for the lineal, for the legitimate heavyweight championship of the world. Like, that's a big fight. That's going to do big numbers, right? And, and I know people. Obviously, you know, Fury and Wilder have been out of the ring for a year and a half. And the last time we saw Wilder in the ring, it wasn't great. But, you know, where's Fury been, right? Like, Wilder could win that fight for sure. You know, then we have Canelo Plant. Canelo Plant is for the undisputed super middleweight championship of the world. So you have the biggest name in the sport, Canelo Alvarez, fighting for undisputed supremacy against a guy who can beat him. Caleb Plant, again, Caleb Plant is spectacular. You know, it's going to be hard for anyone to beat Caleb Plant. I mean, it's going to be hard for anyone to beat Canelo. You know, uh, Canelo is so good at all ranges now, right? Like, for a guy that's short arm and under height, you know, short for super middleweight, he boxes from the long range really well. He outboxed Billy Joe from the and then he got on the inside and destroyed him. So it's going to be really, really difficult to beat Canelo. But if anyone can do it at 68 or 60, um, it's this guy. It's Caleb Plant. His skills are spectacular. He's lightning fast. His footwork is great. He's got great feet. He judges distances really, really well. I mean, that that is a spectacular fight. And then you have Sean Porter challenging Terrence Crawford for the WO belt. Now, this is great news on a litany of things, right? Like, you have the PBC guy and the top-ranked guy finally getting it on, you know, meeting up and, and making this fight happen which is good news because they've worked together to make it. Now, it's a little concerning that they haven't done it before, and when they had to do it, they did it very easily, right? Like, you know, 
But they made Wilder Fury when they didn't have to, right? They didn't have to make this fight. Could have went to purse bits, but they wanted to. So it's a good sign. Like, why can't we do this in the future? Maybe we, we will do it in the future. And we'll, and we'll get top rank guys and matchroom guys fighting the PBC guys. You know, this is really, real. this is good news. And this is a great fight. And this is the fight that Sean Porter could win. You know, Sean Porter's got to get on the inside and rope up Terrence Crawford. Crawford's been more stationary. Crawford's been more willing to exchange in recent fights. Um, that could come back and haunt him against Sean Porter. Like, if he does that with Porter, he will lose. Now, he's got to get on the outside. He's got to outbox him. He's got to, you know, switch southpaw conventional. He's got to throw a million different looks at Sean Porter. And if he does that, he can eke out a decision. But if he doesn't, if he stands in like he's done with Cal Velasquez, like he's done with Cal Brook, he's going he's gonna to lose. He's going to lose to Sean Porter. Um, so we got four fights, which anything can happen, right? Um, really, really high-level, highly entertaining fights. Um, I, I'm going to break these down more. And, and get into the X's and O's a little more as we get close to these fights. But just, you know, from an objective perspe- perspective, boxing's in a great spot right now. There are so many big fights. And on top of that, we got a great hardcore fight, right, in Sequoia Stevenson and Jamel Herring, which is high-speed chess at its best. Now, I don't really know how Herring wins that fight. I'll be rooting for Herring. I don't really know how he wins. Sequoia Stevenson is so gifted, so special. I mean, he's incredibly good. I don't think anyone can outbox him. Herring, you know, Show some power against Frampton, but not really a power puncher. Um, I don't really. I, I think Herring can put on a, a good show, but I, I can't really see a Herring. But that's a great fight, right? So you got you know a great five great fights in the next two months, right? One strictly a hardcore fight, and the other four big fights are going to have some crossover, some casual appeal to it. So I think box is in a great spot right now, and if these fights are good, they're entertaining, you can create new fans, it can create a buzz and an interest in the sport. You know, and it can kind of wash away all those bad things, all the silliness that's happened with Holyfield and Logan and Paul, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, and, and, and get good fights. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Also, Texas boxing scene um, on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. So please help us get that monetized. Help us get that up and running uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.